Hey everyone, so I know it's been a while since I've done a movie review, so today I'm going to review this movie, My All-American, which stars Finn Whitrock, Sarah Bulger, Robin Tunney, and Aaron Eckhart. And um, this film tells the story of real-life college football player Freddie Steinmark, who passed away June 6, 1971, of bone cancer in his leg. And um, so throughout the film, we see the story of Freddie and... Um, obstacles he's overcome in his life um and they probably changed a few things from <coughs> a few excuse me a few things from um what really happened in his life obviously because it is a movie but um it is a true story and um from what i've seen of the film i've watched it twice already um Finn does a really good job of playing Freddy, and so many people said that he immersed himself into the role, and that he did amazing. Um, and he is a really good actor, so he did really well with the part. Um, now, the story in the film, it starts off with an interview of Coach Royal, Coach Daryl Royal, who is played by Aaron Eckhart. And he is being interviewed by a reporter who's doing a story on football legends. And so he's basically telling the story of Freddy throughout the whole film. Um, so we see him at his old age in the beginning. And then again at the end we see him after he's done telling the story. Um, it's a really good movie. Uh, I'm not really... <laughs> it's funny because I'm not really into sports films, but... Um, this one was actually really good. Um, it's a really good story. Um, and it's pretty incredible that even though Freddie dealt with this obstacle in his life, he he was so determined to keep on and on. He was so determined to keep playing football. And um, sadly, they ended up having to amputate his leg. Um, he had to have surgery because of the cancer. And, um, and after that, he only lived another year and a half, which surpassed the doctor's estimate of how long he would live. Um, so that's pretty awesome, actually. But it's still sad that he passed away at such a young age. He was, like, 22 years old, I think. Um, but he played for the University of Texas. Uh, and, um. It's a really good film. Uh, the cinematography is pretty cool. It's kind of like that old-timey football, sort of, like the night late 1960s and so on. And so he... Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Uh, I'd recommend it. Even if you're not into sports films, it's really good. Um, you should give it a try. Uh, even real-life football players thought the movie was incredible. So, um, And it was directed by Angelo... Pizzo, Pizzo, I think is his name, um, and he um, is the director of the films Rudy and Hoosiers, and Rudy is pretty similar to the story, except it tells the story of a guy named Rudy who suffers from dyslexia. Um, both are really good, even though, like I said, I don't really like sports movies, um, but it, I, it, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, I will be doing more reviews as soon as possible. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like this one. Um, I know I didn't <laughs> really know what to say about the film, but uh, I enjoyed it. It was really good. Um, and it was pretty sad near the end, as I said. But um, actually, one of the best parts of the film is a little tribute to Freddy at the end. You can tell that a lot of people really cared about him and thought he was a great person. Um, so that was pretty cool that they did a little tribute. Um, but that's all I gotta say about it. It was a good film. Uh, I don't regret buying it. <laughs> um, I do like Finn. But it's not the reason why I bought it. I actually bought it because I read the story of Freddy. 
before seeing the film and that kind of made me want to watch watch it to see what it was going to be like but um that's aside the point um so yeah like i said like comment subscribe if you'd like to um tell me what you want me to talk about uh any movies that you want me to review and i will try my best to do so um so thanks for watching bye